In this lesson, we're going to compare and contrast the product market with the resource market. The product market deals with outputs that the firm is going to produce, the quantity that the firm is going to produce. And in the resource market, we're talking about inputs, the quantity of labor uh, that is needed to produce goods and services, the quantity that will be hired by a firm. Now for the product market, we have an upward sloping marginal cost curve, which represents the firm's supply curve, which is the additional cost for producing each additional quantity of output. Now in the resource market, our supply curve is uh, going to represent the supply of labor, and it's going to equal the MRC, which represents marginal resource cost, which is the additional cost for each additional input. And the supply of labor is going to equal the marginal resource cost curve because the additional cost for each worker is going to be constant. In the product market, our demand curve represents what consumers are willing to pay for a particular good or service. And it's going to equal marginal revenue in a perfectly competitive market, which is the additional revenue for each additional quantity of output. Now in the resource market, we have the demand curve, which is going to be downward sloping. The demand for labor is downward sloping because each additional worker, each additional quantity of labor generates less and less additional revenue, which is going to equal what we call the MRP, marginal revenue product, which is the additional revenue generated by each additional input. Now in the product markets, a firm is going to produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So this intersection represents the quantity of output that a firm is going to produce. In the resource market, a firm is going to hire where the marginal resource cost equals the marginal revenue product. QL represents the number of laborers that this particular firm is going to hire. When, we, when we're talking about perfectly elastic demand and perfectly elastic supply, we're dealing with an infinite number of substitutes. So in the product market, when we have demand equaling marginal revenue, the firm is referred to as the price taker. And in the resource market, when we have an unlimited number of substitutes for this particular supply of labor, uh, this would be referred to as being the wage taker.